four key characters perform the play of revenge that is Electra. For years, the titular protagonist of the play, Electra, has mourned her father and openly spurned her mother and stepfather for murdering him. She spends her time crying, wailing, and loudly casting accusations at them. Her father, Agamemnon, was murdered by Electra's now stepfather, Aegisthus, at the urging of her mother, Clytemnestra. And although she is a king's daughter, Electra dresses in ragged clothing to further show her disapproval of her mother and stepfather, who she feels treat her as a slave. Every day, Electra expects her brother, Orestes, to return from exile and act upon their shared desire for revenge. When she learns that Orestes is dead, she tries to convince her sister, Chrysothemis, to help. Her sister refuses and begs Electra to be wise. But Electra, dominated by her passion for revenge, is determined to do her duty to her father and exact justice. She is pitiless toward her mother and stepfather as Orestes kills them, taking pleasure in their deaths. Chrysothemis, although older than Orestes, was quite young when her father was killed. And while she agrees with Electra that his murder was an evil deed, she feels powerless to do anything about it. She would rather forget the past and make the best of her lot, so she accepts the role of a dutiful daughter to her mother and stepfather. Chrysothemis feels that accepting her mother and Aegisthus as Argos's rulers will preserve her freedom and provide a counterpart <gasps> to Electra's thirst for revenge by counseling Electra to be wise, to let go mm. of her anger and accept what she cannot change. Clytemnestra may act as if she were justified in murdering Agamemnon, but the deed still torments her. Not only must she live in fear that her son Orestes may return any day to avenge his father's death, but she has a dream about Agamemnon that seems to foretell her downfall. She hurries to send her obedient daughter, Chrysothemis, to decorate Agamemnon's tomb with gifts on her behalf, hoping to appease him. And she gets defensive and angry when confronted Ugh. by her daughter Electra, who never lets her forget what she has done. She can finally relax when a messenger brings the news that Orestes has been killed <gasps> in a chariot race. Orestes, still alive after all, comes to exact his revenge. She dies begging her son to show her the mercy she denied his father. Orestes, although smuggled out of Mycenae as a small child, returns as an adult to exact vengeance. He's received instructions from Apollo's oracle and, in addition to seeking personal revenge, sees himself as an instrument of the gods' justice. Having spent the majority of his life away and knowing his sister Electra only through their secret letters, Orestes does not reveal his presence even to her. When he realizes how deeply his fake death has wounded her, he relents and reveals his true identity. Still, like Electra, Orestes is content to wait for more than a fleeting reunion until their revenge is complete. <laughs>